Hello friends, this video on practical geometry part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now move on to type 3. So in type 3, this is going to be even more interesting. So here you, you will be given the length of only one side, but you will know two angles. So even with two angles and one side, we can easily draw a triangle. So let's see how. So th this approach is called angle side angle. Now, did you notice something interesting? When we learned about congruence of triangles, there also we had these criteria. So why? That's because these are the criteria which decides how a triangle is. So if you know two angles and one side, the included side, then you know how the entire triangle is basically. So that is why these are the same uh, criteria which are were there for proving the congruence of two triangles. So in this case, we have to draw a triangle ABC with given measurements of angle A, angle B and AB. So if, if you can imagine it like a triangle like this, let's say you have a triangle. Let's say this is A, this is B and this is C. So in this triangle, if you know the length of AB and you also know the length of uh, know the measurements of angle A and B, then you can easily draw this triangle. Now please make sure that in these cases it is important that you know the measurement of two angles and the included side between these two angles. Now in case of this triangle, let's say if you are given the measurement of angle A, angle B and the measurement of A, B, C, then you cannot draw this triangle. So it is important that you know the length of this side only. Now why you can't draw if you know the length of BC? That's because with those three parameters, that is angle A, angle B and BC, you can draw many different types of triangles. So they, they do not define one triangle uniquely. So to draw a triangle, you need the included side. So let's start drawing it. So first of all, we will draw the given side of the triangle. So in this case, you know only one side. So let us draw that side. So in this case, that side is AB. So once we have drawn AB, let's draw angle A. So this is how we draw angle A. Now I am not getting into the detail of how we draw an angle because you already know that. Now, but prefer drawing these angles using compass and not protractor. So once you have drawn this angle A, now it's turned for angle B. So let's draw angle B. So let's say in this case angle A is something like 60 degree and angle B is somewhat like 40 degrees. So you draw these angles. So once you have drawn these, what do you observe? You observe that these two lines, they tend to meet at a point. Now make sure that whenever you draw these angles, you draw the lines with sufficient, sufficiently long. Because if you draw long lines, then you actually see them meet at a point. Otherwise, what will happen? Let's say you had drawn AB like this, you had drawn angle A like this, and you have drawn angle B like this. And then you will say that how will I get a triangle? So in order to get a triangle, you actually need to draw these lines long enough. So when they are long enough, you actually see that they actually meet at a point and that point becomes the third vertex of the triangle. So in this case, this point becomes point C. So the point where the two lines intersect is point C and this is how and this is how you get your triangle ABC. So the important point to remember is that whenever you are trying to draw a triangle, both for type 2 and type 3, it is important that you should know the included side and the included angle. That is one important point. The next important point is when you are drawing a triangle with angle side angle criteria, make sure that you draw when you draw the angles, the length of the sides are sufficiently long so that you can actually see them intersect at a point. So let's try this. Examine whether you can construct triangle DEF such that EF is equal to 7.2 centimeters, angle E is equal to 110 degrees and angle F is equal to 80 degrees. Justify your answer. Now even before we start constructing the actual triangle, let us look at the rough sketch. So in the rough sketch, first we will draw the length of the side which is given. So which is the length of the side? That is nothing but EF. So let us draw EF. Let's say this is EF which is given as 7.2 centimeters. Now let's draw the angles. So the first angle is angle E which is 100 degree, 110 degree. 
Now this is greater than 90 degrees, so this is going to be an obtuse angle. So maybe this is this is just a rough sketch. So this is an approximate diagram. So let's call this as angle E, which is 110 degree. Now we have to draw angle F, which is 80 degree. Now 90 degree means perpendicular, right? 90 degree on point F would have been something like this. So 80 degree would be slightly less than 90 degree, maybe somewhat like this. So this angle is 80 degree. So this is again an approximate thing. Now you have to tell whether you can draw a triangle with these measurements or not. Now in order to draw a triangle, it is must that these two lines, that is this line and this line, they should intersect. Right? Only then the point where they intersect, that point will become point D. Right? But in looking at this diagram, do you think that these two lines will ever intersect? They will ever meet for that matter? No. Why is it so? So first of all, if they do not meet, will you ever get the point F, D? No, you will never get point D. So will you ever get the triangle DEF? No. So that means we cannot draw triangle DEF with this measurement. Now you might ask, but what is wrong with this measurement? Here also we have two angles and the included side. So why can't we draw a triangle with this measurement? Now have a closer look at the values of the angles which are given here. So you see, you are given two angles of the triangle and the sum of the two angles in this case is 110 degree plus 80 degree, which is equal to 190 degree. So that is the sum of these two angles of a triangle. And we have learned in our previous lessons that the sum of three angles in a triangle is always equal to how much? So the sum of three angles in a triangle is always equal to 180 degree. Now when the sum of three angles is equal to 180 degree, how can the sum of two angles be greater than 190 degree? That is not possible, right? So that means we could not dra draw a triangle with these measurements because the measurement of the angles which are given in the problem, they are incorrect. We can never have a triangle with two angles equal to 110 degree and 80 degrees respectively. Of, of course, this angle can be 110 degree, but in that case, this angle has to be a lot smaller. It should have been some 30 degree or 20 degree or 40 degree. So that is possible. Or if this angle is 80 degree, then this angle should not be 110 degree. Then it could be again, maybe 80 degree, 70 degree, 60 degree or so on. So therefore, we can never construct this triangle DEF. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.